So this next change is very minor and I almost didn't cover it, but I think it makes sense to look at the kind of different error messages that have changed uh, within PHP as well. Now to take an example of this, we're first of all gonna hop over to PHP 7 and we're just gonna build out a really simple method within a user class. Let's say we had an avatar and inside of this, we could specify a size. Now in here, we might return say some kind of avatar from wherever and we may have the size appended on to the query string like so. So let's go ahead and new up this user. So let's create a new instance of this and go ahead and echo out user avatar, but we're not gonna provide that size value. So let's go over to PHP 7, give that a refresh, and we can see missing argument one for user avatar called in blah, 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 the usual stuff. Now the change in PHP 7.1, if we just copy this over to our VM, uh, makes a little bit more sense. So if we just give this a refresh, you can see here, uncore argument count error, too few arguments to function user avatar zero passed. Now, interestingly, what we can do is change this over. So the uh, error actually changes. So if we go ahead and set maybe a default, let's say the default avatar was default.jpg. Let's look at how the error changes when we refresh. So you can see here uh, too few arguments, zero passed in and at least one expected. So it's really just improving the way that this reports. So, and at least one expected. Whereas if we take this back over to PHP 7, you can see that the error message uh, is a little uh, less friendly. So again, we're saying missing argument for one. It's not giving us that additional information like it is here, at least one expected. So again, this is a really simple one, but I think it makes sense to output much nicer error messages, particularly as PHP has a reputation for outputting error messages that don't always make that much sense.